like no one's blasting yet. So who's the best? No one answered yet. Nobody taking a chance with Jeff. I said, no one taking that chance with Jeff. I mean, It is a heavyweight collision between Cain Velasquez and Daniel Cormier. So what has become seemingly an annual stop for the MMA leader, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We are back inside Gionessi Arena here tonight, and you can expect these Brazilians to be really to be loud and to get behind their fighters as usual. Every time, I mean, they're loud. They're behind their guys. They almost propel the Brazilian fighters to some of their greatest accomplishments, to some of their best performances to date. Oh, he's setting guillotine. He might get a finish here. All right, side control now. Cormier's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Gets the elbow up into the target. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. And he's back up. Velasquez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. From the clinch here, nice trip to get the takedown. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He blocks the shot. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, now go for the takedown. He went right. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Velasquez. Stop, stop, stop. Great, great generals. That's exactly what I want you to do. You control where this fight's going to be. The takedowns look spectacular. Keep it going. He gets... All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. <laughs> All right, here we go, DC. The start of our second round, Cain Velasquez. And who's that good-looking guy? Daniel Cormier. Big kick land. Well, we've already got too many Rosendo Sanchez boxing shout-outs in the game, yeah. but certainly you're... Well, all right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. 
He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of a kick, he would go right to his takedown, and it worked perfectly. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Kane Velasquez. Hey, scramble, get up. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, so he postures up here and now now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Just over three minutes to go. It's the elbow there. Oh, back to the well with the elbow. That one landed clean again. Yeah, it's a half guard here. Velazquez grounded down from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. He's attack arm bar now. How about that? He's like, you go here, my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big knee! He was hurt. Dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. That is it. Unbelievable. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. You in a two seater, let you kick back. I'm still with, still with. got me in that mood. How they hate it when they know that I'm that dude. I'm
Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Kane Velasquez and John Jones. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's done a great job of mixing everything up. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce. It's a heavyweight clash between Kane Velasquez and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. He's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. Well, he's the taller fighter in the land and knee to the body with relative ease there. Velasquez goes for the takedown. He misses. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, crippling. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, nice. Oh, big, knee. big knee there. Knee to the body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. That was Side. 
and going back to the jab just out of range. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. He blocks the punch. Also, oh, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land in beautiful punch to the head. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. DC didn't take him long to find his range here. Tonight. Shot a double leg. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the run. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Stop, stop, stop. There by the gypsy king. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but a huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Back to the feet. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Here he's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Big knee there. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Three minutes to go. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, nice trip to change the level. Two minutes now to go in round two. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Gets up again here, but Hurton, well, you got to think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling, as yet he's been unable to stop. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling, where they get close to you, they hook their feet, they... Oh! Hurt, serve him up. That's a crippling shot there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Ten seconds to go. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job. Not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent... Third round underway. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Velasquez. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great pitch. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He's going to try to take it down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, big knee! Double leg shot. Oh, man, the canvas is shaking as he slams him down. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Ooh. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. He gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe would have secured the top position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Velazquez's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. And they both stand up. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. All right, he closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. So nicely done with the trip there. Fury gets back up again. That is... Oh, oh man. What a shot to the body. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, King Untrained animal off the leash, I'm in panic, but yet relieved. Watch a hammock that hang with me. Grab a hatchet, cut down your tree like a mannequin that can speak. What I have in store is unique. I just mop the floors with them seas. I can't stop until things are clean. I'm in amateurs, what you think? So you stand there in disbelief till I dislocate both your feet. That's what happens, you step to me. Not too graphic, but not PG. Lots of action in every scene. I'm kidnapping all of your dreams. Hold them hostage and watch them scream. Grab a side, I am what I advertise. Don't matter, you put it, we live, then we have to die. You might hate it, but you can't deny. See, everything that I've been doing got me looking like a mastermind. It's so game, but I vandalize it. I do what you fantasize. And took a vision of my dreams, and I find a better way that I can make it. I've been looking, think I'm really about to maximize it. Huh? These bullets form in my mind, they come out my mouth. There. But anyone out there doubting, I act in mouthy. Forget what you heard about me, I've been astounding. Something for you thinking you might run circles around me. Yeah, ain't this all I ever wanted? That's a fact, no, that's a lie, no, I'm confused, yeah, I got problems, what's the use, yeah, let's be honest, screws are loose, I need them tight and not amused, yeah, look what I did, brought you something, hope you like it, so precise, the flow the nice, it's so productive, stop you whining, back in style like I was vinyl, I make songs and they go viral, something's off if I go idle, been so long, yeah, okay, I know, take your 
shoes off, you're in my home. You got fans, but not like I do. Yeah, thankful I try to be, can't contain what's inside of me. They don't like the sight of me, cause I lack in compliancy. I question what I can see if you're not playing my CD. No expiring, I'll decide when I think it's my time to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure a takedown. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker will be master of the transition. Nice scramble. So try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping him in full guard. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice punch lands over the top. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice elbow. Timely defense there, huge play. So he had a perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was ever getting down. Persistence, age, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Big call for what's land. Now we'll get back to range. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no... Oh. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Big kick land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he's been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use brown and palm to open up some mission opportunities. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. Nicely done. Working on another choke here. Good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a good That is here. it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Yo, wow. That was nasty. Woo! Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy... Now... That's how a bad man lives And bro said that's what a gangland did So from 16 was a might man kid They keep saying I'm a young black king Okay then where's my banquet They said there's more fish in the sea But leave that one that's my man's fish Snap, that's an eyeful Hey us beat it like Michael Wanna know why nobody likes you They're scared cause there's nobody like you Crap, that's a tower Looking for some hope for about an hour Looking for some flower for a minute But to build a kick you need some power if I sell drugs, then I might be rich. But mom said that's how a bad man lives. And bro said that's what a gangland is. So from 16 was a might man kid. They keep saying I'm a young black king. Okay, then where's my banquet? They said there's more fish in the sea. But leave that one, that's my man's fish. Everybody wanna be the only one. Better pay your dues, man, if you owe me some. For anybody not trying to be given none. Body the body and leave the body. And coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Daniel Cormier and Anderson Silva. Ready. 
All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not the way he's on the ground. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice punch there by Silva. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Gets the elbow up into the target. Arch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off him. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. To throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for you, DC. That oh, knee. big knee. That knee hurt him. Now a knee. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Establish that jab once again. Awesome. Nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talk so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage space in the strike zone. Big power shot there. Oh! oh what an end to round one. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, Will on the other, Agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his... All right, here we go with the start of round two. DC, you look ready to go. Daniel Cormier and the future UFC Hall of Famer, Anderson Silva. And they separate. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but stop. Squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, we've already got that. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He lands there. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He just, oh, he's hurt. Back to the feet. That's how you finish a fight. Oh. 
94 total strikes have landed for Daniel Cormier. And I'd also add landing with six. Oh, 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 and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. It's not like oh, and now he's got a hurt bad. Well, he's really starting to land. And that's going to do it. He's done. He's done. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. He's going to enjoy watching. Now we go inside the octagon. Shopper, mannequin, throw scorched the back just like it's Anakin. Smoking cannabis, but ain't no journals that I'm handling. Like, who brings a composition to the competition? There's gonna be some consequences when I'm. Now, let me turn it to the judge and throw the book out. This you in on the barbie like a cookout. This rhyme is dedicated to every MC I took out. And once that got the best of me, so all y'all look at hey, yo, I chef mad flavors. The energy is like a lightsaber. Shave it off the top, it's sort of like a lightsaber. She's greater, he's greater. Definition of the fly. That's why I don't write rhymes. I write shit. All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between Clover Teixeira and John Jones. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go, go, These guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And he landed the right hand there. Teixeira gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Nice body kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice elbow lands for John Jones and kind of throws it like a jab. Just looks very comfortable throwing that one. I mean, that's a striking choice when you're in close, right? He's long, so punches in those tight quarters may not work well for him. So he leans on those elbows when he's chest to chest with his punch. No glove, no pad on that elbow. No him. pad on the elbow, very pointy too. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that play. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it. They are fighting behind him real well. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Pretty good jab there by Teixeira. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one. And there's another one. So he continues to slow, slow his opponent down. Nice poker face. Not sure how many more. He won't be able to 
take many more. Think about Hedden Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. Oh! How about those five minutes? Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. All right, the seconds are out of there. Here we go now with the start of round two. Glover to Sherry. And John Jones. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is the opponent is not Again, you can't hold a good man down. All right, so the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes have landed for Glover to share. And the accuracy rate, 57% above the UFC average. That's been a big story of this fight tonight. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punch. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Oh, he might be out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating. All right, the official decision is in it. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go, All right, so here we go. Round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to a bout into the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position, so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submission. Marcia, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. 
Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Looks for him to posture and use Brown and Brown to open up submission opportunities. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom as he continues to stay active off of his back. And how fun is this to watch? Derek Lewis! Yet another finish! He got him! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching the official decision. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Defensively, he's seeing everything coming. Beautiful punch. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike, and he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. And he landed the right hand there. Big oh. knee lands there. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. 
big ball from West Land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Oh! land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, nice straight left there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Jones. of the action from that previous round, DC. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, that's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Straight punch lands. Strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Whoa! Whoa! So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hold. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, elbows from the bottom now. Okay. Ground and pound strike there now. Elbows landing now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Jones. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy from bottom position here. Elbow landed there by Johnny Bone. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Gets the elbow up into the target. Ground and pound strike is true. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how a Third round underway. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. And big he comes knee. through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Wild swing there. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's hit. Tie now. Oh, nice job. Oh, 
take down, scramble to his feet. Oh, big knee there. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Still nice body kick land. Beautiful straight counter. shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.